In this video, we're going to be looking at configuring DHCP for AP location of wireless LAN controllers. And we'll look at the Cisco 3600 series AP configuration for this. Now, the things that we use in this exercise will be different than what you may need to use for your specific AP model or vendor. So you'll want to get the information from your vendor if indeed DHCP is utilized to provide the IP address of the actual wireless LAN controller to your access points. Now there are two ways to do it. The exercise in the official CWAP study guide by Certitrek Publishing focuses on when you need to use option 60 because you may have multiple devices that receive the configuration from DHCP in this way. If you do not have multiple devices on the broadcast domain that the DHCP server is serving, then you can actually just directly configure an option 43 if that's the option your AP utilizes. So in that case, you can literally just right click on scope options in the DHCP server. This happens to be a Windows server based DHCP server and choose configure options and then scroll down until you find option 43. And then you're simply going to select that option and enable it and go into the ASCII portion and put in the IP address of your particular wireless LAN controller that you want to send back to the client. Click OK and that's now part of your DHCP configuration. You can use a tool like the free DHCP test tool in order to find out if you're getting the option. So when I run this free tool DHCP test and press D to broadcast a discover packet you can see right here I am getting my option 43 with the IP address of 192.168.10.205 so I can see that that worked well let's come back in here now and we'll go ahead and delete this option 43 and let's say that we do need to deal with a vendor class identifier VCI and option 60 in order to actually have our DHCP provide the appropriate IP address for our access points to locate the wireless LAN controller now to do this it works a little differently we're going to go to the IPv4 node right click and choose define vendor classes and you can see there are some classes that are already in here from Microsoft we're going to click add to add a new class and as far as the display name goes you can actually give any real display name you want this is just for purposes of actually having some kind of information here in the display so I'll say Cisco 3600 AP and the description I'll put Cisco 3600 lightweight AP now the key then is in the ASCII portion you need to put in the VCI that is provided to you from Cisco or your vendor so I'll put in Cisco AP C 3600 that's the string that the Cisco lightweight AP is going to send and that's really all I have to do at this point with the vendor class identifier. So that identifies the actual class itself. We'll click on OK. You should see something like this. And we'll click on Close. Now the next thing I need to do then is define the predefined options. So I'm going to right click again on IPv4 and choose Set Predefined Options. And here you can go down until you see your Cisco 3600 AP that you've created. And then click on Add. And you're going to give it a name. This is something to help you remember what this is so I'll say Cisco IP WLC provisioning and we need to change this to binary and set the code to 102 and you can put any description you want so I'll say provide WLC IP to Cisco 3600 AP and click on OK so that's all I really need there I can click OK again and now my predefined option is configured as well. So now what I can do is go into the scope itself and for the scope options I'm going to choose configure options and go to advanced. And now here on the advanced tab I've got a vendor class and I can choose my 3600. We will select that and again in the ASCII portion just put in the IP address 192.168.10.250 simple as that click on OK and now my DHCP server is configured to respond to a DHCP request that includes an option 60 for the vendor class identifier and actually respond appropriately so now if I go back into DHCP test without giving an option 60 and I send a request notice 
that right here from the DHCP server that we've configured, 192.168.10.111, I do not see an option 43 there. What I have to do with DHCP test is provide to it the actual option that I want. So we'll use the option flag, 60 equals Cisco AP C3600. So I'm simply gonna set this to the same thing an AP would set it to. Press D to run it. And you'll notice that now up here at the top, before I had six options, now I have seven options. And notice that 43 is one of the options that's being returned to me. So I am now getting vendor information, which as you can see, is going to provide the IP address then that is needed by that actual AP. So we can press control C to end DHCP test. And that's the process of configuring DHCP. So remember two options. If you only have one device on the broadcast domain, the DHCP server is serving that actually needs to get the option 43 or the wireless LAN controller configuration, then you can just configure the option directly. If you have multiple devices, you'll have to identify the vendor class identifier.